wires are coiled around the iron pieces and then they are connected through a cell with an iron strip which also has a screw. This is connected to an, another iron strip which has a hammer at its end. This is the hammer. So, when electrical current passes through this iron strip uh, or through these wires, the iron strips become magnets. As a result, they attract this iron strip and it strikes the, the hammer strikes the gong and this is how we hear the sound. But as it strikes, the circuit breaks, then no longer it is connected with the screw and as a result, the sound stops. So, in a minute, many such small sounds are produced due to the formation of electromagnet and that is how the call bell works. So, now you have seen how important is the electromagnet, how many ways we can use it. So, call bell is the most important example of an electromagnet. So, in this chapter we studied that electrical current has many effects like it can produce heat and that height heat can give us light, then it can also have an magnetic effect and it also can produce other forms of energy, the mechanical energy. Actually, you know energy can neither be created nor destroyed, it can only be transformed from one, one form to the other. So, by the invention of electricity, we have been able to create so many devices which have made our life so easy. Without electricity, where would we be? We would be living still in dark cave life and so electricity is very important. But for electricity, we also have to be very careful because these electrical wires, if they are not covered by insulators like plastic covering, then if we touch them, even we can get electrocuted. So, it is very important that whenever there is a wire which is uncovered, you know what is it called? It is called live wire. So, if you touch the live wire, you will get the current. So, with your electrical equipments, you have to be very careful while buying them. They should be standardized so that they cannot harm you because electrocution can even be fatal. So, another precaution is that never touch anything electrical with wet hands because even that can give you electrical current. So, whenever you are using geysers or immersion rods or any equipment where he electrical current is utilized, you must while switching off your hand should be dry and it is better that you are wearing plastic slippers because they are insulators and they will protect you from the electrical current. And when electrical fire is there, use sand. Of course, every good thing also has the flip side. So, electricity also has its flip side, but if you are careful, then it will serve you like anything.